My name is Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today with Pete Dillingham from the Midshore Symphony Society. Hi Pete. Good. And he's going to tell us about um, some upcoming events that they have and exactly what the Midshore Symphony is because I don't think a lot of people realize that it's the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra on the shore, correct? It is, that's correct. Yeah, basically uh, uh, the Midshore Symphony Society is a nonprofit and uh, all volunteer organization of, made up of members from the Midshore counties. Okay. Due to the uh, foresight and the endeavors of uh, Arthur Kudner, who is a very, had keen vision, was uh, looked ahead and said, you know, basically we don't have we have while we have lots of music here on the shore, we really don't have symphonic music. Right. And That's we true. We really need to get to. Uh, a, a world-class organization like the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra to come to shore to play for uh, audiences here. Okay. And that was in February of 1970. Oh, so no. 44 years ago, here's a man and a group of very, very eager and hardworking volunteers that set up an arrangement with the BSO to come for three concerts each year. Nice. Okay. And uh, so uh, basically... Our board of directors, which is numbers about 20 now, mm -hmm. um, work with the BSO to develop programs of interest to what we think would be of interest to the uh, audiences here on the shore. And uh, that, while we bring the classics and the familiar uh, compositions that everybody knows right. and the composers that everybody knows, we try to introduce our audience to uh, those compositions which are little known or little played and to kind of bring them on board with a wider you know picture of what's going on right. in the music world not only from the past but also right up to current stuff the uh, the, the current times and so um, so so you do three of these shows a year you yeah. you guys have three of those and I know you have one coming up October 17th October 17th, 17th. on a Friday okay and uh, and basically our concerts are now on the weekends they used to be during the week but we now have got an arrangement with the BSO that uh, that they will play here on the weekend That's so good. we get Friday night and Saturday nights and so the second two concerts are both on Saturday nights okay. so that really helps us as far as the audience is concerned we have a venue at Chesapeake College That's and the Todd Performing for. Arts Center. Right. And it really Beautiful is a, facility. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the acoustics are that's, great, too. That's what I was going to say next. I've yeah, been there the for quite a few The orchestra thinks that they enjoy coming here to play. And so it's not like playing in a barn right. or, you know, or out in the street or anything else like that. It's not the Meyerhof and it's not the Strathmore, but it's really a nice right. center. And it's plenty of free parking. Right. And you yes. don't have to go across the bridge. And exactly. Just, it so. just keeps getting better. <laughs> So it really is a great, uh, a, a great opportunity for people to come to, uh, to listen to really great music from a truly world-class right. orchestra. So the, can you tell us a little bit about the first, the show that's coming up in October? The, I'm leaving the names to you to pronounce. The concert, <laughs> the concert on the 17th, Friday night, the 17th of October, is going to have three compositions. And the leader, or the conductor, is Ariel. Remerit. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's Norwegian born, <laughs> right. but he's a great conductor and he's got a lot of uh, musical and conducting experience. So he's you have different conductors each we show do, we too. Do. Our, our conductors are also world class. Okay. They're also famous conductors. And so, um, but when I say that, I have to modify that because last year we had two assistant conductors and these were young men. One was the assistant conductor of the New York Philharmonic. Oh, wow. And the other was the new assistant conductor of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Get out of here. <laughs> so, so we can say we, we heard them when, we yeah, saw them when. Exactly right. And that's, that's the way our, you know, kind of the, we work with the BSO to introduce not only new music, right. but also new faces. Right. Hilary Hahn, who is now a world-class violinist, really made her debut on the Eastern Shore at Queen Anne's High School at that there time. There we go. So basically th these people are on to bigger and better things. But as I say that uh, Ariel is Norwegian born and the first piece is going to be by um, Elfrida Andre. Okay. Now interestingly enough 
and it's going to be the BSO debut or premiere of this of this, of this particular piece. Okay. Um, she is Swedish, and she I say she was born in 1841, died 1926. So her claim to fame really is as an organist, and but she did write symphonies and she also did all kinds of other things. She was a composer, as, as uh, we see here on the, in this particular uh, concert. She was a conductor. She was a very, very prominent in the women's, as a, women ac a woman activist okay. in Sweden. So uh, basically, here's a woman who is well ahead of her time. Right. And she's one of the few women of a small group, really, of women who were conductors as well. So she's really kind of... Uh, uh, top of the bunch as far as I'm concerned. And this place, we usually start off the symphony concerts with a rouser, you know, kind of get everybody uh -huh. in their seats and get them all warmed up for what's going to come later. And this is going to be a tremendously exciting, short, 12 minutes uh, piece to kind of to introduce, introduce the, the rest of the uh, uh, concert. The second piece is going to be a Mozart piece. Uh, it's going to be a flute concerto okay. by Emily Scala. Now, Emily is the principal flutist for the BSO. Okay. She is a uh, internationally claimed uh, soloist, and it's been said that her, her playing is flawless and her technique is blazing. So. He, Mozart is somebody that everybody knows. Right. They know kind of what to expect. Now you're going to see how it's being played by, by this really world-class musician. Nice. Okay. And after the intermission, our third piece, which will, is going to be the Tchaikovsky Symphony Number no. 3. Okay. And, Another uh, familiar uh, name, Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky, it is indeed. Um, that, that particular symphony is not very well known and uh, very rarely played. And for whatever reason, but I think that the audience is going to see in this particular thing really kind of where Tchaikovsky is making a transition into really what his technique is going to uh, um, kind of mold uh, forward, what am I trying to say? Um, where it goes. Morph into. Right. Right. The, right. So it's going yep. to be a very forward looking symphony and really is going to set the pace for, you know, the three symphonies that come after it. So Wonderful. I think it's really going to be a great evening. Okay, so, and it's October 17th, and we do have information up uh, where people can get tickets because um, they can get their tickets ahead of time. They bet, yes. From the Todd Performing Arts Center, right? Right, there. exactly. The telephone number is 410-827-5867. Okay. And you can order in advance, and the cost of the ticket is $40, or you can, even up to the first concert, you can subscribe for the whole season. Do the whole season. And that's $105. Awesome. I want to emphasize that parking is free right. and readily available. And right. So I think it's really kind of a great opportunity for everybody to come. And there isn't a bad seat in the house. Nope, nope. And um, I'm going to have you come back when the next uh, concert comes up so that you can tell us about the next one when it gets closer again. And this is just exciting that we get to have the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra over here at least three times a year. So... I, I agree. I, I, you know, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk about the, the BSO on the shore. Because basically what happens is that people read the newspapers, but they read for what they are interested in. Right. And right now, the Baltimore Symphony is not very high on their priority list, unfortunately. And right. they're missing a great deal. Right. So here's your opportunity. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Pete. And uh, we'll see you in a couple months for the next one. You bet. Thanks very much for having me. Thank you. Uh,